welcome back. This is the Allegheny Northern in N scale. And yes, you are almost seeing double there. That is two Atlas GP40 locomotives. And they are wearing the CSX maintenance of way paint scheme. One is a very old model and one is a very new model. So let's take a look at what the new model is offering. So first things first, uh, the old model is an original DC uh, model that has a drop-in Digitrax decoder. It's been weathered in ballast service for uh, the better part of, I want to say it's probably going on eight or ten years old at this point, and uh, change out from the Accumate couplers to the um, Microtrans couplers, and then also it has some brake hose details added. And that's because this locomotive was pretty basic when you uh, purchased it back back then. So now let's look at the new one and that's going to be the focus of our video here today. And the new one is pretty much the same as the old one. In fact, I think it might very well be the exact same shell. Here, let me turn these around so that they are facing in the same uh, direction. So uh, the only the only difference that I that I really noticed uh, between the two models was that the the bell is is shown here on on the new one, uh, not here on the old one. But other than that, the shell is pretty much the exact same, uh, other than the fact that you will notice that the uh, exhaust detail on the roof. When I show you, is just a little bit different, um, but pretty much uh, the same basic shell that you would expect from. Uh, Atlas. Now, it is running DCC with sound, and that is coming from an ESU Loke Sound V5 decoder. And, you know, so we'll do the sound here in a little bit, but it does sound fantastic. The other thing that uh, I do want to show you here is the original uh, old school one does not have ditch lights. They're not even molded in place. And your new version uh, will have ditch lights front and back. Uh, so a couple of things that I want to point out is there are no separately applied details on this model. So you are going to uh, have to add your own grabs. You're going to have to even add your own air hoses. They are molded onto the um, front pilot there, but they are not separately applied. So if you are into detailing, you will need to do that. And then, of course, uh, you'll have to add them to the back as well. So the other thing I did want to check on this model was because the uh, there's no snow plow on it and uh, there's there's no snow plow on the original either and so i actually looked up this specific uh road number for csx and lo and behold it does not have a snow plow on it so uh i don't know if they've ever added one but if uh, you were concerned about that on this particular model this is exactly what the front of it looks like it does not have a snow plow so don't uh don't worry about that. I'm sure if you wanted to add one for one reason or another, you could, but I don't know why you would do that. So uh, in any event, let's go ahead and do a quick look around of the model itself. Okay, so you do have your fan details here. You have your exhaust details. You have the little nubs that I guess would be your lifting lugs if you, know, you were doing maintenance on it and when you come on over to the weathered one you can see those details are all there but you do notice that there is a slight difference in the uh, roof details uh, of the locomotive uh, I actually I don't even know if this is a I think this is a 40 I think it's the same model but uh, don't quote me on that so um, give you a nice close-up here typical Atlas truck details there's nothing uh, Super excited, they're, they're standard truck details. No extra little hoses or any of the stuff that you've seen from the scale trains type models. And that matches pretty much what was um, on the, the original. And let's just go ahead, do a close up here of the pilot detail. And bring this light around so you can actually see it. But you do have your molded on hoses and you've got your operating ditch lights and the op and the ditch lights operate on front and back i think i mentioned that but just so you can see it there so uh, that's a nice feature um, an upgrade from the original and like i said that does have the bell detail there 
Okay, let's go ahead and take this over to the layout so you can hear what it sounds like. Okay, so let's do the obligatory load test on the locomotive. And what you see here is the 2% grade, single locomotive, and five cars. I'm going to set it to about 30% mm, throttle and see how she does. Okay, five cars is no problem, so let's add a few more. Okay, we got seven cars on her now. Usually these sound locomotives pull about six up the grade, so let's see what she does. Get her up to 30% throttle just to keep it even. And she's struggling, but she's still moving, so that counts. So almost quite sort of made it with seven, and she stalled. I'm betting. Let's see if we take one off here. Yeah, she might just be stuck at this point. Yeah, we got her stuck. So about six cars, five to six cars is what she's going to handle on a grade. And I know you're asking how much can the old one handle. I'll show you right now. All right, we are at 30% throttle, and you'll see she's a little bit slower than the new one. Uh, blame that on gearing and age. Uh, but we're back to seven cars on. And yes, she will pull. I'm going to give her a little more throttle here just because it's taking forever. But she will pull more than the new version. I'm sure most of you expected that. It seems like the older locomotives do better um, now that they um, you know, don't have room for speakers and all that other stuff. So there's more body weight to them. So the tractive effort is a little bit better. Uh, so what I, what I find is that if you are looking for sound and you want that realism of sound but you want the pulling power of the old school locomotives, then what you want to do is you want to pair your sound locomotives up with your non-sound locomotives and you will get the best of both worlds. That's just my preference. You can do obviously whatever you'd like, but and then of course too if you are running on a level layout or a club layout or something that doesn't have grades, then it may not matter to you. 
Okay, just some final thoughts here on the Atlas GP40 in the CSX Maintenance of Way Scheme. Uh, it is a nice locomotive. It is as nice as the original uh, there for a gold series master line uh, model. I'm a little disappointed in the number of molded on details. Uh, I feel like Atlas could have done a better job giving us some air hoses and some grabs and some of those items. Uh, however, when you do things like that, you do jump up in price, obviously. So this model is going to retail for somewhere around 190 plus Uncle Sam and shipping. So uh, it's not cheap, but it's not, you know, it's probably 60 or $70 under the, the top of the line. So... If you're looking for a decent locomotive, something that you can kind of rough house with a little bit and not worry about knocking off fine details, this is probably where you want to land. It's a nice locomotive. It runs well. It sounds good. Um, it averages the same pooling that I would expect from pretty much any model in this class. So uh, it's going to be a welcomed uh, addition here to add some sound to my maintenance of weight trains, which you know I love. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, and if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them down below. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.